Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making a Roblox Studio script that works for C4. We're going to make it a tool and we're going to make that tool be able to attach to certain objects. So for this what we're going to do is I'm going to have four sounds. These can be any sounds you want. I've got my actual bin that is going to be up the C4 in. I've got the C4 and I've placed a tool in with a handle. Okay, for this we're going to first make a local script. And for a local script, we obviously need to first actually do local tool equals script parent. Now, obviously, that lines up to the the actual parent, which is the tool. And then local prompt equals game dot workspace dot newspaper stand. Uh, sorry, closed dot detonate dot detonate okay and then local function enable prompt equals this and then prompt dot enabled equals true local function is disable prompt prompt dot enabled equals false tool dot equipped connect enable prompt dot unequipped equals connect and disable prompt so this is all the script we'll need for the tool and then we can get on with the actual main part so we're going to insert a part i'm going to add it to here and we're going to make it so it's smaller and it's about here and we make it transparent one and we can make it anchored and we make can glide off can touch off and we can all right there we go so we've now got this part we can add this to explosive and we can call it depth only and then we can add a proximatory prompt to it like that then we can just check that this all lines up so this line should be detonate dot proximatory prompt that lines up okay so now that we've done that we've got tool sorted and we've got the detonate inside of the actual main function you see we can keep looking back to make sure everything works so dot explosive dot detonate dot proximatory prompt okay now that we've got this all sorted we can do the actual main important part so we need to add a script to this okay and then what we're going to do is proxy equals script dot nokia equals so we need to move these sounds into the explosive part and we can leave them back in that folder so now that we've got that we can do nokia equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot sounds dot nokia we can do that for beep we can do that for explode fire and we can also do that for explosion sound equals 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 and these can all just be copied and pasted like this dot beep and then this is going to be dot explode and then this is going to be dot explosion there we go now we know what that is and then we need to get some particles now for particles what i suggest is you get some fire ones off of something else for me what i would do for something like this is i go to toolbox and i'd search up something like molotov there we go molotov cocktail you can see that it's probably got particles inside of it yep there we go explosions flames sparks so we want all of them we want them three and we can then paste them into our explosive i'm going to delete that now because we don't need it okay so now that we've got that we can then do the articles and that's going to be flames equals script dot parent dot parent dot flames dot, dot parent dot flames then we can do the um, sparks 
equal script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot sparks and then we can do the last thing which is explosion equals script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot sparks and then we can actually get the box which is box equals script dot parent that's right that needs to be uh, Uh, and then we can do script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot and then that is it. Uh, now what we can do is we can do proxy uh, dot triggered equals connect function add the lines and then add an end function and then we can do script dot parent dot parent and what we need to do before we start any of that is we need to get the C4 part. The C4 part is going to go inside of whatever you want. This is going to go here. And I'm going to move it down a little bit. And then what I'm going to do with it is I'm just going to move it there. And I'm going to make the transparency one. Okay. Then I'm going to do script.parent.parent.ebr parent dot p sorry the parenting's wrong dot parent dot p parent dot parent dot c 4 now i'm gonna just rename this to be ebr just to prevent any issues and it helps if it's actually in the explosion sound which is why the parenting was wrong now that we've done that we can do wait 20 seconds and main weight dot transparency so and then with this is the main weight so this is the wait time between placing the c4 down and the actual explosion happening and then we can do beep as play and then we can do weight uh, around four seconds beep and then stop and stop Okay, then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to just add stand to this so it's correct. And then we're going to do box and then dot color equals color three dot new and zero, zero, zero. We're going to add the extra spacing on them as well so they're correct. Okay, now that we've done that, we can do box dot anchored equals box script dot parent dot parent dot pbr dot parent dot pbr dot transparency equals one and then we need to turn particles on so this is the main particle bit so we're going to do flames equals uh, flames dot enabled equals true spark dot enabled equals true explosion dot enabled equals true and then local explosion equals instance dot new explosion and then we can do explosion explosion two dot parent equal box and then explode explode fire is play and then explosion sound is play also and we're going to wait 100 seconds and then we can turn it off so that should now all be working fully so now we can go test this and come here press play Go up to it and then we can interact because I've set the time to 100 seconds we don't want that we want to just turn the time down so you can actually see it so we'll turn the time down to 2 it's 1 once it's loaded there we go
Bet you can see. That did work, however, it just slightly moved where everything's meant to be. So now everything should be in the right place. So now we can retest it. So just make sure to anchor it all so the particles actually stay in the right place. I've just realised I've made a mistake everyone, sorry about that. So we can see that the particles aren't going in the right place. Now the reason for that is because they're not actually in the stand. Now we need to put them in the stand, which means it's going to be these parentings are all going to be wrong. So we just need to change these quickly. So script.parent.stand, dot parent dot no, dot stand dot flames. And we just need to add it like this, otherwise it won't work. So, and then sparks, and then explosion, and then that one doesn't need one. Okay. I mean, see the tool makes it so we can actually enter the proximity prompt. Now, if this isn't in the ground as much, and we bring it a little bit above, and then we also make it so this is can collide off. And uh, we make it so this is also can collide off and anything else. So now that everything's off, it will now actually make it so the bin itself disappears. And as you can see, the bin itself is what's on fire. We move the bin around. And yeah, so the only thing we need to do now is we need to make sure that the proxy is destroyed. And there we go. That is all you'll need. Uh, we can actually make it so the proxy itself is destroyed after the explosion. And then all we have to do is turn the proximity prompt off, the tool to work. And now, as we can see, the tool places down the IED. The IED then makes some noise for a little while, which could alert police, etc. Do the and then it explodes. So that is pretty nice in my opinion. And I think everything works perfectly fine. So yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, the free model will be in the description of the video. Just join the link to the Discord server. Join the Discord server, go to the free models channel, and then you'll have the full ability to check all our models. And that is exactly how you would script an IED system for your game. Free models channel is in the Discord here. Once you've joined, just grab it and react to it however you feel. Right, have a good day and bye bye.